Number six with cheese fans, happy Wednesday, happy local Chicago food review. Today we're headed to Sheba Hut for some toasted stonery sandwiches. And we've got a donation shout out for Maddie Novak who donated 666 at $6.66 and said, hail Corey, hail Satan, gotta love it. <laughs> if you wanna donate to us, uh, you can hit us up on Venmo at number six with cheese or on our homepage of our YouTube channel. We've got a little PayPal link up in the top right corner. Go ahead and click that and give us a donation, help support the show. Absolutely, let's get this food review going. Glad you guys are here. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, you All right, Chiba Hut, what do you got? Two different sandwiches from Chiba Hut here in Wrigley. There's also one in Wicker Park. Acquired jump cut. Well, eat enter is ten sixty nine. By the way, is the price ten dollars sixty nine cents per sandwich. We'll take you in for Corey's for the Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see what we got here. Open up all this tin foil to keep it nice and tight. Whoa, okay. So we got ourselves a meatball sub here, ladies and gentlemen, from the Chiba Hut. I got garlic bread on this bad boy. You're seeing the meatballs, you're seeing banana peppers, you're seeing green peppers, you're seeing a delicious marinara sauce, things covered in cheese. Looks like they maybe even got some Parmesan cheese sprinkled on there. Looking uh, quite tasty and delicious. Looks really good. All right, I got the Cali Mist, which is roasted turkey breast, bacon, chipotle mayo, jalapenos, avocado, pepper jack, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and shake and house dressing. I also got that uh, the garlic bread, like Corey did. All right guys, our first time ever having Chiba Hut. There's a bunch of locations around the country, like 15 states, I think this originated in California. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Got a good meatball sub. Yeah. You know what vibe I got? Mm. The first time I ever had Quiznos. Okay. Remember like it was so different because like the bread was better, it was like toasted and bigger. Like th that bite kind of gave me a weird Quiznos nostalgia, which I haven't had Quiznos in a long time. I remember thinking that was like the elite sandwich compared to Subway. I don't know if I've so ever had Quiznos. It was like more expensive and just better quality. That makes sense why I've never had it. Yeah. <laughs> We're close, close to the train today. I know. It's really taken in the city. How does that one kind of compare to the uh, Lucia's last week? I mean, no comparison. Really? I feel like this is like, I mean, they're in 15 states. Mm hmm. It's kind of a fast food, or at least it gives the vibe of a fast food definitely type of spot. You're not going to beat local. It's not going to be Tempest. It's not going to be Lucia's, but I wouldn't even know if it's a little bit better than Subway, but it's comparable to Subway, and at least the ingredients seem better. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like taste to taste it is. It tastes pretty, it tastes like it's just a good meatball sub. Yeah. This one I kept seeing people like when I was trying to see what to get. This was one that was shared a lot. I think it's like a very standard kind of sandwich in California. They do very like turkey, bacon, avocado. Yeah, white people stuff. Yeah, very white people stuff. So I got that one. Number one, gotta be the Cali Mist. Our California club, turkey, jalapenos, chipotle mayo, pepper jack cheese, bacon, loaded all the way up, all the veggies, dude. I, some of the videos online like showcasing what Chiba Hut's all about, because it's obviously like very pro marijuana and like it was founded on that. So <laughs> talking to some of the owners and stuff of these places, it couldn't be more stereotypical. He's like, dude, we just like all love sandwiches, man. It's like fantastic. Super stoked. I was looking through, looking for a job after the pandemic. Looked into it, super awesome place. Delicious sandwiches, like right across the street from the bank. We're on this super busy intersection. So non-threatening. There's like a real burrito weed culture. Cause I don't think this is the only like fast food weed sub spot, right? It's definitely not. There's like other ones that have like puns on weed. This East is Lansing, Mena, Mena's Joint. It was literally a toasted burrito place. It was like legendary in mm -hmm. East Lansing. They had them kind of around some other campuses. We had Mena's Joint and the logo was literally a giant joint. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. This is good though. I'm just getting a Quiznos vibe. For those of you that understood that, I think that's spot on. More expensive than Subway, a little bit higher quality, but not like a revolutionary sandwich by any means. Just like hits the spot, damn good lunch option. Yeah, good price, 10 bucks. I wonder what a uh, foot long, which just isn't a foot long. I wonder what a six inch meatball is nowadays. At Subway? Yeah. Yeah. Like I bet it's pretty close to like probably a little bit cheaper at Subway, but mm -hmm. a little bit less quality. Mm -hmm. This isn't a bad price. The the texture's good, the flavor's good. All in all, yeah, it's a good experience. Yeah. I'm not blown away, but I'm not not chapped. It's just a very like good, not great vibe. Mm-hmm. Like I would never be mad eating this. But you can't yeah, put this against a local sub shop in Chicago, in my opinion. Good not great to me is all about price point. If you're good not great. And you got a good price point, you're doing all right. Mm-hmm. I agree. Ten bucks for those? 
I'll get full for 10 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. And that's an eight inch one. They had a few different options. You can get like what, four, eight or 12, something like that. Mm -hmm. So you got some options, which is cool. They have stuff on their website, like just cotton mouth cures, <laughs> just different drinks you can get. I got a couple friends that like swear by this place. They're like, I can't believe you and Corey haven't done Chiba Hut yet. I was like, I've never even heard of it. Yeah. And I looked it up and the people that are diehard about this place, like the reviews, people love it, like swear by it. Yeah, this seems like that type of place. Like it's good and they got a fun vibe. Uh -huh. I feel like this is something like college where you'd be like, oh, there's a weed yeah. thing. I bet a lot of them are in college towns, if I had to guess. Yeah, even their... <laughs> Even that bag, look at that. Just the weed leaf. Mm -hmm. This was the other one I really wanted was the pizza sub. Sounded yeah, good. Sounded it looks really good. good. It looks very good. I almost got that. But yeah, a lot of options on here. Guys, if you want to support the show and you want to do it in a quick and easy and free way, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We're here every weekday. But for the Friday videos, you got to be a Patreon member. So sign up if you want the full experience to get all the videos. Do that. But uh, today, what would be a fun comment for the folks so we can chat with them all day long? Like their favorite food when they're stoned? That's a good one. Because some people are savory, some people are sugary. I feel like everyone's got their like go-to meal when they're a little stoned. So what would be your ideal stoner meal if you had to pick one? Comment that here today. Yeah, I'm excited to hear. All right, time to rate Chiba Hut. The sandwiches we had here today out of five, uh, we just saw them in the uh, Super Bowl. How about out of five Snoop Dogs? How many Snoop Dogs do you give the 10 and some change meatball sub Chiba Hot Corey? I think that was, it was good, not great. You're paying a, a little bit more than Subway. I don't think it was enough better than Subway that my cheap, cheap ass mm -hmm. would just, I'd go with whatever the cheaper the two is because they were both like basically the same flavor. But there's people who want I don't know, they just like to spend money, so they go and get the thing that's more. That's just, it feels like a really average thing. I'm gonna give it a little bit above average. Those good not greats are hard to rate because there's nothing really horrible about them, but there's nothing that's really blowing me away, so there's not much to say about it. I'm just gonna go with the 2.75, pretty safe. This place reminded me, when I lived in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, which was like a little stonery beach town, they had places like this everywhere. There was something about it where it was like the toasted sandwich and the beer because that's a full bar in there. Mm, that's cool. So like that's kind of their, their aesthetic. They want it to be like a very chill beer in a sandwich place. Th I love those. You can't those. Do that at Subway. Can't grab no, a beer you there. No, you can't grab a, a drum roll APA on draft. So I think that's really cool, but if we're just talking sandwiches, that was, like Corey said, it's good, but you're not gonna, I think, remember that compared to other local places. And like, it's almost still 11 bucks. I'm gonna go. Good lunch spot. It was a good lunch spot, solid. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go 3.2. There you go. I think 3.2 is such a good, not great score. All right, guys, well, let us know. What's your stoner food? We'll chat in the comments. Thank you so much to everybody who supported the show with Patreon and buying the merch. Hit that up if you'd like to. And just like we always do, new video every Thursday again tomorrow. But thanks for rocking with us, and we'll see you very, very soon.